Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Gardner, the owner of Pinot's Palette Bricktown, and this is Pour Yourself a Masterpiece, your insider guide to painting, drinking, and having fun. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about a wine that we have here that is really, really fun and delicious. It's our Cinquin Pinot Grigio. So I'm going to pour myself a glass of this, and I'm going to tell you about what pairs really, really great with this wine. So first, a little bit about this wine. Uh, this is a really cheerful, vibrant wine. Uh, it's light, refreshing. It has um, a subtle bubble to it, which is unusual for a Pinot Grigio. Um, but this one does have a little bit of bubble to it. It's got hints of pear, crisp apple, and kind of a lively citrus. So um, it's not a strong wine. It's a tiny bit sweet. And I think you're really going to like it. So what pairs well with our Cinquin Pinot Grigio? Uh, one thing that you can pair with it is melon and uh, prosciutto wrapped lemon. So today I'm going to show you how to do a really easy recipe that will really bring out the flavors of this Cinquin Pinot Grigio. So first I have all the supplies in front of me and uh, let's go over that. First we have some cut up cantaloupe. You can also use honeydew. Uh, you can cut it up into cubes or you can use a melon baller and do little, little round balls of your melon. Uh, the next thing we have in front of us is our balsamic white vinegar. Uh, the brand doesn't matter, you just want a balsamic white vinegar. You can also use a regular balsamic vinegar that's the darker color, but that will end up changing the color of your melon. So to keep the color of our melon the same, I went with the white vinegar. Uh, the next thing in front of us will be our fresh mint. Um, right now it's uh, just starting to get in season, so my mint leaves are kind of small, but um, if you grow fresh mint at the house, uh, this is something perfect that you can use it for. And uh, the last thing in front of us will be our prosciutto that we will slice up into thin slices to wrap our melon with. So let's go ahead and get started with our white balsamic vinaigrette that's going to go on top of our melon. Um, I have my, my little muddler here. And we are going to start off, depending on how much melon you're going to do, it's going to depend on how much vinegar you're going to need. So I'm just going to do about three to four tablespoons of my vinegar. So let's pour that in here. And if you have too much vinegar, of course, you don't have to use it all. The next thing we are going to do is pull off some of these mint leaves and put them into the vinegar. So I'm just going to get the leaves and not the stems. And uh, again, as far as how much mint you need, that's going to be dependent upon uh, how much melon you have. So I'm pulling off my, again, my mint leaves are pretty small, so I'm doing like 10, 12 little leaves. Once I have that in there, I'm going to muddle this together. And what we are doing is bringing out the flavors of our mint. Once you have this all muddled together, um, you can let it sit in the refrigerator for like 30 minutes to let your, your vinegar, vinegar get nice and infused with this mint. So once I have that completely done, I'm kind of, whenever I'm muddling this, I'm kind of breaking up my leaves so that they're not so large for whenever I put it on top of my melon. All right. So once we have that, we're just going to set that to the side. And the next thing we are going to do is cut our prosciutto into thin strips and this is going to be for our melon so we can wrap the prosciutto around the melon. So I'm just going to demonstrate a couple here for you. So I have this thin strip of prosciutto 
I'm gonna take a piece of my honeydew melon and just kind of wrap this around. Now, as long as you get it all the way around, you probably won't need a toothpick. If you want less prosciutto and just do a little piece of prosciutto on top of your melon, you can use a toothpick to hold it in place. So I'm just going to continue to wrap my melon pieces with the prosciutto. So now that we have all of our cubes of melon wrapped with prosciutto, now what I wanna do is transfer these onto my pretty platter. So let me move this out of the way. I'll grab my platter. And since I went with um, cantaloupe instead of honeydew, I went with a green platter so that it brings out the colors. So I'm just going to one by one, transfer these over and like I said before if you want you can put a toothpick in them all um, or you can just have toothpicks sitting to the side uh, so that people can stab it and get their own all right these look so good once I get all of these transferred onto my platter, um, then we're going to put our vinaigrette, our uh, mint vinaigrette on top. And again, depending on how much melon is going to depend on how much vinaigrette you use. All right, almost there. Okay, so now what we wanna do is take what we muddled up earlier, our mint into the white balsamic vinegar. And I just have a little spoon right here that I'm going to drizzle this mixture on top of my melon pieces. And you do want to have some of the uh, mint left over and you can break up pieces of that. You can cut it or tear it up and put that on top as well to not only add an extra boost of that mint flavor, but to add extra color. So that green on top looks really nice. Okay. Now that I've got that done, I'm just going to take a few more of these leaves and kind of sprinkle it around. If your leaves are larger, you will want to cut those leaves or rip them up into smaller pieces. But because my leaves are so small, I can just rip them up. And now let's taste this and pair it with our cinquin Pinot Grigio. So I'm gonna take just a small piece. Mm. Oh, it's so good. This wine definitely brings out the flavors of your salty prosciutto, that mint adds just like a hint of freshness, and then your sweet lemon. You're going to absolutely love this, and it's so easy to make. It seems a little uh, different, I guess, from what people typically bring, but it's something new, fresh, and uh, just in time for spring, which is right around the corner. So. There you have it. What pairs really, really great with your cinquin Pinot Grigio is going to be melon wrapped with prosciutto and then drizzled with a white balsamic mint vinaigrette. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to check out future classes that you can bring this delicious appetizer to at pinotspalette.com slash bricktown. And be sure to catch up on past episodes and future episodes of Pour Yourself a Masterpiece at pinotspalette.com slash bricktown slash blog. Thanks so much, and we look forward to painting, drinking, and having fun with you soon.